Hello everybody, MichaelTree1994 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at this thingy. What is this thingy? I believe it's an 8-bit, although I'm not sure exactly how to determine 8-bit. I mean, how much bit the thing is. Anyway, it's a digital counter, and I built it myself with the help of my friend O-U-S-N-K is how you pronounce it, uh, spell it. Um, he didn't actually help me build it, he just explained to me like how these machine things work and then I built it on my own. I also had a little a few tweaks on my own as well. Anyway, let's go have a look at it, shall we? Okay, so what we do is we flip this on and that whole thing sends electricity and look, out came a number one. Now it's not doing anything because the counter is not turned on. Let's turn it on and oh look, it's counting. What this is really good for is like if you have like a spleef arena, you can make it count to three and then have it say go or you know, something like that, or you can have a count. I made a mistake, or I put too many units in, that's why it's repeating zero right now. But uh, yeah, let's turn this off. Now, to explain how this thing actually works. What is happening is that this thing is called a clock and it sends rapid pulses of electricity throughout the entire system. It has two outputs, one over here and one over here. And if we were to uh, stop this from sending electricity, what this does is, you see, it sends this whole thing into a circle. Now this thing is like a computer. It's, uh, I believe it's 8-bit. Well, like I said before, I'm not exactly sure how to determine what bit it is. Although I believe it's 8-bit based on how many units. I'm not sure. Anyway, the uh, glass represents 0 and every other block represents a 1. And if it hits a 1, it sends a, the unit of electricity out to the pistons which shoot the uh, blocks out. It's set in a certain order. That's what this thing is. It's a memory tape. And I programmed each one, and that's why the numbers come out the way they do. Now, these two switches, this is the, uh, this is the power. And as you can see, I had to not, I had to knot the device because I want it to be down as off and up as on because that's how most switches in, you know, life work. So I powered this thing, which powers this, which goes over to here, and this sends electricity out throughout these blocks. That's all that that orange line does, except that also over here has a knot over here, which sends electricity this way. If this is receiving power down there, the clock will turn off. Uh, what this is, this is the counter, and if this is flipped on, that will when it flipped up, that will stop the electricity from going over there, which stops that from from turning off. The reason why this device isn't doing anything right now is because the whole machine is off, and that power. See the orange line sends power this way, meaning that it will turn this off. But if I were to leave this down and turn this on it would be counting because it's still sending power to that device. But if I were to turn this off, it would stop the power from going over to the knot, which, if, if this is receiving power, it will turn off these two red stones. But because it's not receiving power, it's turning on those two red stones, which is distributing power throughout the entire device. Alright, and that's how this whole thingy works. Well, thanks for watching, I hope you liked the video, and if you would like a tutorial, I will make one as soon as I get 250 subscribers. I'm currently at 234. Or, until this video gets 30 likes. So, if you want a tutorial, hit that like button, and subscribe while you're at it. it, it I mean, it is free, and, you know, you're here, you know, you, can, you know, while you're at it. Yeah. So anyway, I hope you like that, and I uh, will uh, see you next time. Bye.